today. Here's a charming problem for the middle school math crowd. It goes as follows. The letters A, B, C, and D all represent different digits. If, okay, it's a sum, if A, B plus C, A, I guess it's a two-digit number, two-digit number equals D, A, so it's an addition problem, and a subtraction problem, A, B minus C, A happens to equal just A, the question is, what digit does D represent? All right, so I've got these sort of two, uh, I don't know, like grade school arithmetic problems, a long addition and a long subtraction. And somehow I'm meant to be able to figure out what the digit D is, which appears, oh, it's only appears there. All right. Well, I kind of feel I know what to do. I just have to play around with this. So strategy number one, which is engage and successful flailing is probably the way to go. Just do stuff that feels like it's the right direction and see what pops out. Um, so what can I look at here? Well, let's look at this, uh, if I actually did this addition problem, if this really was, you know, two-digit number, two-digit number, what you do is you go to the right, so you go B plus A equals A, but the, I'm a little bit nervous because I might have to carry a one or a two or something. So, in some sense, I could say that B plus A equals A, that might be true, or it might be A with an extra, like, 10 going on, or maybe an extra 20. Hmm, let me think about this. So, um... I know, I'm, I'm making something up. If A was actually, say, 3, then B plus 3 could be 3, or it could be 13, because then I'd carry a 1 and still have A here, or it could be 23 and still carry a, carry a 2 and still have A there. So that's what I'm a little bit nervous about, is that carrying. And I can't read my own writing here. But... Hmm. Oh, oh, something just occurred to me. Would they actually be carrying? B plus a number gets me up to like 10 plus that number. These are all single digits. I don't think I could ever go 3 up to 13 or 20 by adding a single digit. This is smaller than 10. Aha! B plus A equals A will never get me like 10 plus A's because this is a single digit. This must be true, in which case I've just learned that B is 0. Oh, but the question wants D, not B. Well, I've got this B is zero, so let's put that in. So that's a big whopping zero right there. Squeak, and that's a big whopping zero there. What now? Oh, oh, this is interesting. How do I do a subtraction? You go rightmost column, zero, take away A. We're not allowed to write that. What you meant to do is like borrow one or something, so you borrow one. Uh, there'll be one less, A minus one. There's so one there. So it's 10, take away A is A. Well, this is just falling into place. This is beautiful. 10, take away A is A. What does A have to be? Uh, two A's is ten. A is five. Oh, this is just all falling into place beautifully. So let me just draw some fives to the A's, and then I feel like I can probably get the C's and the D's and everything's going to happen. So I'm feeling pretty happy and confident right now. I feel if I kept going, unless there's a little twist in this problem, that things are going to work out just fine. So I want to keep going. In fact, I want you to keep going. And then when you're done, if you get somewhere or if there's a sticking point that just drives us nuts, Let's read about it in the essay that goes for this video, because I've written about this too, and some fun variations. So give it a try, see where it goes, and let's compare our values for D in the end. All right, thanks very much. Thanks for watching. For more curriculum inspirations material, go to our website. Lots of great stuff there.